We're pretty happy to be here up at uh, Sovereign Lake Nordic Center, one of our favorite places to ski in North America. Yes. We had the 15-kilometer uh, freestyle today, and it was very hard. <laughs> Matt, Matt took it off hot, and uh, at least the splits I was getting, he was 15 seconds or so up, uh, right off the bat, like 2K in. Did you go out hard? <laughs> I didn't think I went out that hard, but I uh, I, I went up fast to, to try to get warm because I was cold already at the start line, and it was minus 20 Celsius here. I was was freezing. I don't, I don't wear long underwear on the bottom. I don't. I like wind bruise, and that's it. Probably not a good idea today. I think he's crazy. <laughs> I was pretty psyched to have my super warm Helly Hansen. <laughs> that was real nice. I raced in boot covers. That was helpful. I did take Matt's advice and put those little toe warmers on top of my socks in my boot. Makes it a little bit more snug in there, but uh, I would say they were working pretty good for at least a lap and a half before they maybe stopped working. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I felt about about halfway through my the carbon deactivated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I deactivated, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we finished the race and the first thing I did was go hike up to the fire and take my take my boots off and basically almost stuck them on the metal <laughs> In the fire. I had to use a little self-control not to do that. I, I finished the race and I was escorted by medical right to here and wrapped up in blankets because I, I was non-functional. Yeah. I'm surprised I made it. The last 2K I was, uh, I was uh, hallucinating. Couldn't feel my hands, my face. My left cornea was refrost. I frostbit that a, a couple years ago in the Berkey and that wasn't working. Yeah. I was, I was, I was hiking up the last couple hills. Thought there's no way I was going, <laughs> going in the top three. <laughs> Thought I was gonna maybe at like fifth or sixth, like 45 seconds back. Is what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty close. It's pretty amazing the volunteers out here to brave the cold, and it's really cool. We were both commenting that it's really nice. You guys do a good job taking care of them with uh, hot chocolate and chili and coffee and a little place to warm up. Cause uh, we were out there for basically 45 minutes and. Uh, we got out of there as soon as we could to get back into the warmth, and so and those guys are out there for a while, so we really appreciate so that. So tell us a bit about how the cold affected you both, like physically and your skis, like for the whole race. The ski the skis were, uh, I think, pretty good in in the sun for sure. They were really good, and the, you know, you get in the backside of the course and that shaded, and it was like it was like you could kick your skate skis up the hill almost, but they were pretty free compared to a lot of people, I thought. Yeah, and, and there was uh, there was. Uh, I felt like a pretty big difference depending on where you were within the track. The trail's nice and wide, and the fresher corduroy was certainly better be, simply because it has that ridge in there. Yeah. So your ski was touching a little bit less. A less less surface contact. I was trying to ski in that too. I was trying to do that a lot. I know, was, which meant sometimes you had to take a wider line, but it, I mean, it felt to me like it was quite a bit faster. Yeah, it was quite a bit faster in spots. You know, we both also really liked having the uh, ledge on our skis. The NIS We the played NIS around wedge. a lot with that. The uh, rise that made a huge difference, I think. Yeah, it freed up, freed up the ski because your knee's a little closer to your foot, so it, it turns the, it puts the ski on edge a little quicker. Yeah, especially that release speed, which I think yeah. is really important today. Yeah, this wasn't a gliding course, which is... Which is uh, normally kind of what my favorite is, you know, power and then glide for a long time. Today it was uh, just keep the feet moving the whole time. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. makes it real hard because on the downhills rather than just sitting in the clock, you have to just keep your feet moving side to side, side to side, so you break up that friction. Friction and keep, you know, oh, that was hard. And you guys were with close to each other at one point. Tell me a bit about how your race played out. Close to, uh... Like yeah, Brian started that, behind me. Uh, so we, had, we were a minute apart, and so that was pretty nice. We had uh, our wax tech, uh, Andrew Krauss, the Bjorn Dolly rep. He, uh, AKA Sven. <laughs> yeah. He was he was a huge help, so he was out there uh, giving, giving splits, splits. Cheering. And then. Lying uh, me about my split time. Oh, you're three seconds behind Brian. What did he say? <laughs> that? Yeah. That's awesome. that was, then I was real sad because I was like, oh, God, Brian's going to close so hard. I'm going to lose like another 10, 15 seconds here. I was. I was coming in and out of fo mental focus at that point in the yeah. race. I was, I was, um, like half half my mind was frozen. I think the left part of my brain was frozen. It didn't work. Yeah, my mom and sister were brave in the cold for giving us both splits, and uh, so that was pretty nice to have them out there, so we could kind of get that. You know, it's okay. Where where are you sitting? And, we always are really close. You know, we both train together back home in Minneapolis, Minnesota, a lot. And so it's a I know I'm having a good race, so I can be a little bit ahead of Matt, and he's having a good race, and he's a little ahead of me. Mm -hmm. So we just sort of play around with that. He started a little faster, and 
I close a little faster. And yeah. Yeah, this is a good day for both of us. Hey, so tell me a bit about, you were here last week and you said you did the time trial. How did that help you for today? Yeah, so I did a free camp up here, um, myself and my wife. Uh, we came up here and basically every day I did intervals on the course. This, uh, for looking at the season and said, okay, this is a really important race to do well in. And uh, it was one of those days that, believe it or not, was actually slower than today. It snowed about, I don't know, it just kept snowing and snowing and snowing. And uh, the groomers are super nice. I talked to them the day before and they're like, yeah, we'll make sure we groom the race course for you. And uh, uh, we came here and they definitely had groomed it, but it snowed like six inches on top of that. And so I was like, well, it's enough that I still probably can do the, do the time trial. And, the day, the two days before when I did intervals, it took me about 15, a little over 15 minutes to do each lap. My fastest lap in the time trial was 16:20, and that was my first one. And so I really sort of learned, like, okay, I gotta, I gotta hold back a little on that first lap because those second and third, I don't know where they come from, but they get a lot. The hills get steeper and the course get a little longer. Because there, there's a lot more beats. Do you want in that third lap for you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you? I, I beat two it almost the whole first lap, and the third one I was like V1ing that whole back, the, not the steep one, but the hill before that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did you v one that whole lap? I did on the third one, yeah. not, on, not on the first one. The first one I V2'd yeah. that, and then I went, or V, yeah. Yeah. Or in, in Canada they call that one skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get that right? So the first lap was a whole, one skate, all one skate. skate almost. Yeah. And then the third lap I was like, oh, I'm v one in this whole thing, I'm going so slow here. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, 12 rounds, gotta keep the feet moving, keep the feet moving. Couldn't feel the feet at that point in time, <laughs> but I thought they were yeah. down there still. Yeah. So now tell us what you're thinking about doing tomorrow. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out a way. Tomorrow there's a race in Bozeman, Montana, a super tour. And then we both want to be there, and so... Uh, Could be good points. We have the Midnight Express on hold right now. The uh, mattress in the back of the minivan. My sister may drive us part of the way, and um, then my dad the rest of the way. But we uh, we also have a pilot friend on hold that uh, we sort of said beforehand if we went one two that we'd uh, we'd splurge on the money for a uh, charter flight that'll meet us across the border in uh, Orville, just across the border from Osoyoos, and uh, that only takes three hours to get to Bozeman, which we might that means we might be able to get to sleep by like midnight or one in a bed, which would be nice. We gotta go visit my wife. She's there. Uh, she was hoping to race today, but their super tour. I actually got canceled because it's a little bit colder than here even. I think it's like minus 20. 27 C. Yeah. <laughs> We're the high. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow's looking a little bit better. So yeah. It's supposed to be warmer. Uh, My dad lied. He said it was supposed to be like minus 18, minus 16 here today. <laughs> Matt's dad's our, uh, our uh, team meteorologist. The weather gives us the weather updates. Tries to look at the models and figure out, okay, what's going on. And so mm -hmm. we were a little bummy. He thought it was going to be a little bit warmer today. He texted us this morning. He's like, well, it looks like the cold air is lingering in the valleys. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but we are happy that we had the opportunity to race. So Yeah. No, it was really... We would have been real sad if this got canceled. This was a big target for both of us, and we were tapered for him. We, won't, we, we didn't train very hard this week. We no. did some hard intervals one day, and then we kind of... We haven't done much since then. <laughs> then yeah. Had some bug boost coffee. Yeah, you know, uh, that Swiss place in town. Hot That's tub. the must visit place when you're here. Hot, hot tub, must little, little visit, sauna. yeah, yeah, the awesome. Swiss place, yep, yeah, yep. <laughs> Don't tell my wife; she's been at home with both my kids. Yeah. <laughs> she's an angel. <laughs> she's, she's a saint. So. Awesome. All right. Anything else before I we finish this off? No. Yeah. Thank you. Love you, Grant and Samantha. See Aww. you soon. Aww. Love you, Kaylin. That's my wife. <laughs>